Hey YouTubers, it's Chris here. In this video, I just want to give you a little preview of what we'll be working on in this week. And that is to do a little demo for connecting your iOS app to a MySQL database. Now, if you're starting a new project, new app, and you have a choice as to what database you want to use, um, I definitely recommend you go with something like Firebase for a mobile app that is, um, or something like Parse if it's you know purely just a mobile app. But there are some reasons where people would want to connect their iOS app to a MySQL database. And the only reason I can think of really is if you have an existing MySQL database that already has a ton of data in it. Uh, maybe that database is part of another system that uses MySQL already. And so your app is just mm, kind of like a way to view that data. So you need to connect to it and uh, retrieve some data. So anyways, I do have a tutorial for this on my site, as you can see, but it is super duper outdated. I mean, this was published last year in August. Actually, it was probably even older than that. It was just slightly updated, but um, it is... I go through in this tutorial um, basically how to create your database and then how to set up a PHP web service for it and then how to create an iPhone app um, that reads from that database through that web service and displays some data. And the example I use is, let me scroll all the way down here. Oh, okay, all the way down here. And what we're going to end up with is just a simple table view with a couple of locations. And this data is coming from the database. So that's kind of cool. And when you tap on it, it'll show you a map view. So um, this demo kind of shows you a couple of different things, such as how to use a table view, right, to list out data. Um, obviously, how to retrieve data from MySQL and display it. And also how to use map views and also how to um, transition from uh, one view to the next. So you have a multi-screen app. Now... Why am I doing a video for this while I have this written tutorial? Uh, and that's because I need to update this guide. Um, it's not updated to Swift 3. I think it's, it's a previous iteration of Swift. And so rather than just taking another week to update this and not releasing any YouTube videos, I thought it would be a good opportunity to also make this a YouTube video as well as to update the actual article on my website as well. So. This is what we're going to do. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I will also provide the link to this article in the description below. So you can check out this article if you'd like to. But other than that, um, in the next couple of videos, I will walk you guys through how to do exactly this tutorial. So create the MySQL database, the PHP web service, and then the demo iPhone app to connect to it and fetch data from it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.